Outlander, Chief Akaro and Marshal Catalo await you within. The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaru's throne. And Ether. Well met, Aloy. I was hoping we'd run into each other again after the flood and bleeding mark. Atika. So you did it. You're part of the Chief's Guard now. It wasn't an easy choice, but yes. After you left, we laid Kent up to rest and I thought about what he said. He served his clan, his tribe, as best as he could. I have to do the same. I'm sure he'd be proud. And he'd reprimand me for allowing myself to be distracted. <laughs> Can't have that. Thank you again, Aloy. Strike true as the ten. Outlander, the chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. This must lead to the arena. It's another part of the ruins, turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. Aloy. It seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Catalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come from you. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Catalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the Chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that, the defenses will hold. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the North Barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the Ten. I'll see you when this is done. There's armor in that chest. Take it. It might prove useful. No lowlander is going to earn this right. Marshal must be earned. 
earned with courage. It's clear Hikaru is not afraid of Regala. Regala will come for the chief. But perhaps he Only should... Of the I, the desert can tell you more flamboyant than that. That was quite a bump. There's Dakota, eh? With his thugs, of course. Look, comrades. Easterner. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the Bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. Good day. Your enemy is mine. <sighs> Okay. Hikaru's defenders should be at the end of this trench. And look. We are not alone in this fight. Focus on the machines. Take them down, and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below, but from above. Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. Dunno! The cool root is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Challengers! Approach! All who take down a machine shall be named Marshal. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory. The cool route. Keep firing, Aloy. Ugh. Ugh.
I don't know. Get out of the way! Oh! Hold the defenses! Go! down and catch up to work all off. Hopefully that's enough. I'll fire a few shots from that ballista.
Gala went after Hikaru and Katalo. I gotta get to them. Well, we'll have to worry about running out. Okay, new approach. This isn't finished! I'll be back with everything I have! And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red.
At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished with Dala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now. So leave me. And get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the Ten. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Aether's subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. The visions in the grove have changed. The words of the Ten are now clear to us. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines. Scarcity of food and water. Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war.
Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? Zoe, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. All right. I need to get Aether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms, too. Might be worth checking out. Okay. I can feel it. But you should know that I got some new pieces since we last went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Well, good thing I have a little something called strat- Join JTF-10 for a covert operation deep within the rainforest. Strength. to petition to join the chief's guard <gasps> what brought this on with everything that's happened show like someone I need, to I need it to back for the plan. my blade's not as quick as i'd Regala like will strike soon well if you're a aloy sparring partner a word if you will maybe i'll take you up on that blood of the ten aloy regala denied the truth of the visions revealed i doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds We'll just have to remember them, then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the Chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Cavo. He was not counted among the dead. Which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner. No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. The Cavo is the last of my blood. What made Cavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the Embassy, they took it as a call to arms? Yes. But others, the young especially, <laughs> care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. And as for Cavo, it was probably a bit of both, and a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. You said Cavo's your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then, their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. If Kavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy, and the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. 
They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. I finally earned enough medals from the hunting grounds to trade with Ducca. Hey, here you go. Your blade be bright. I see you, champion. Sit, please. I thought I felt the snow chill. Yeah, like this? Oh, uh, <laughs> you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Varl said you might need some help after all, doing uh, complicated things. We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. I'm telling you, 
The old ones put blades on their feet and... Danced on ice. That doesn't sound safe. It does sound fun, though. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Hey. Hey. A nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh... Well, you had your doubts about bringing us along. There's a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> There's nothing I can't handle. Right. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but... By the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land, when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. So, Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I should get going. I just keep uh, practicing with this thing. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. With the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, We'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Varl. How's, uh, training with Zell? You know we really are training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory, and All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside, without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, a tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one Zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. I'm guessing you've spoken with Catalo? 
I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora warchief could have so much in common. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Errant definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Asaram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. Think you can hold the fort while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe. We'll be fine. Varl looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her... ...terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much... ...metal. You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. You've been getting to know Aaron? Of course. In this case... Uh... Right. I should probably go. I shall return to our training then. Gaia, what's this room? This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. And while those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed, I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. Well, that's something. Pizza? Apparently it tastes worse the longer it takes to be Looks battle. like this room's Won't changed. Is that your doing, Gaia? Yes. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. I like it already. Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the... ...vision you keep in this place. Gaia, and gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything. But all I really need to know is where to train, and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus... It will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. You've had some time with the team now. Any thoughts? I admit, I was surprised to see Nutaru here. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. I'm told she rallied to summon her tribe against the Karja, and fought all the way to Baron Light. Interesting. Perhaps I'm mistaken.
You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. That's all you're gonna tell me? Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero. And I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Kulrut by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. Never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the cool route? Takote knew. That if I survived the cool route, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal. And never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Root. Dekka, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. And it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom and the awe it must have inspired. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. I should go. Feel free to check in on Hakaro and your people. Doors always open here. I will. May the Ten walk with you. Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you.
So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the subfunctions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Coordinates. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone, or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Aluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Aluthia is in trouble, and sent the message hoping you were out there. Or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Hmm? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Good to know. I'll check it out when I can. Right, so let me get this straight. The angry orb. <sighs> Looks like someone's put some of my stuff in here. Aloy, hey, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. Hmm. 
This is the rite of passage that Vashav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. My old spear. Rust helped me make it. When I finished my training. It feels like so long ago now. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. <laughs>